My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Racing takes place at Hollywood Bet Scottsville on Sunday, the 15th of January 2023. It is, of course, a Michael Roberts race day, and we do have the Michael Roberts Stakes to Listed event. And uh, looking forward to that race over the 1750 meter trip. I'm joined by Devon. Devon, how are you doing? Excited for uh, racing at Hollywood Bet Scottsville on Sunday? Yeah, all good. Thanks, uh, Rahil. Yeah, it looks like a very competitive card, and hopefully, together, we can find the viewers uh, some good value on the day, and hopefully, we can make some money. Yeah, absolutely. Race number one commences at 12.35. It is an eight race program, so the bipod will start in race number one, which is a maiden plate for the fillies and mares over the 1950 meter trip. We do have a rerun for you, that of number three, Lucy Popova, when finishing third last time out, and an interview with MJ Odendal and Mark Dixon. Zebra is further back, salient point. Luck of the Iris comes out and cry freedom. 200 to go though, Columbia Road is at the front. And it's Columbia Road by three or four. Cry Freedom becomes a runner on the outside. But Columbia Road's clear by three or four. And Columbia Road will win it by about four. Second place will go to Cry Freedom. Third place, Lucia Popova. Maybe Luck of the Iris ran fourth. Okay, yeah, if you say so. Not the easiest horse to, to uh, assess in the world. Um, she just doesn't give much help to the jockey. She just won't travel in a race. She, uh, she's got the ability for a race like this and with Keegan back in the saddle and change of scenery at Scottsville, we'll, we're just hoping that she'll, she'll help a little bit during the race and travel a bit better and, and see how she goes really. Yeah, smart filly. Um, her prep hasn't quite gone to what I expected. I think I probably threw in the deep end. She didn't handle her gallop enough. She's gone off her feet a bit, a bit. Uh, most likely one run. Yeah, strange. Uh, you know, I said to Marco, uh, on ability, probably the weakest horse of ours on the day, but would probably give us the best result. Um, she's basically got two and a half lengths to find on, the, on, on, on one of the really fancy horses, which I think she could do. She is a little bit temperamental at Scottsville, but uh, yeah, she, she'd run a pretty good race. Uh, obviously, one, one can't have too much confidence when it comes to the weaker maidens, but uh, uh, I would definitely expect her to run a decent race. Thanks to MJ Ordendal and Mark Dixon for the interviews. Yeah, unfortunately, horse number eight, if you say so, won't be taking a part in this lineup here. So that is a scratching, and we are reduced to a field of eight horses to compete in race number one, the start of the pie part. And uh, Kam Naidu, he seems to hold a strong hand in the lineup with numbers two, Cry of Freedom, and number three, Lucia Popova. Both have had four starts to date. Cry Freedom running second and Lucia Popova running third in their last start where they did meet one another. Cry Freedom did uh, beat Lucia Popova by around one, one and a half lengths. And they could uh, certainly get a lot closer to one another this, this time around. Both trying the trip for the very first time. Of the two, would you have a preference for either or? Yeah, I don't really have a preference, but I think the race is between them. And just to make the viewers know that they're both trading at around about 4 to 1. That's anti-post uh, betting in the various fixed odds uh, betting platforms. Rahil, just making it known to the viewers that the show is recorded early yeah, and absolutely. the betting will change. So you must uh, check your card changes and also updated betting. But it's an open betting race, but I think it was two good runs from both these individuals. And I should see them finishing on top of each other. Again, there, there won't be much to Choose. Yeah, absolutely. I have to agree with that. Uh, Columbia Road was a facile winner there. Uh, I'm not quite sure how that maiden form line is going to work out because it wasn't the strongest of uh, races. But uh, these two horses, they do seem to set the standard in a, in a lineup where we do have horses that are fairly well exposed. Horse number one, La Dreamer, Plum Draw. She met the boys last time out. I thought it was a cracking effort. She was doing her best work at the finish. She's dropping in trips in the 1950. I don't think that's going to be a concern. And from a pole position draw, I expect her to be close enough to the pace. And uh, I think that uh, she should run well as well. 
Yeah, you can expect a decent enough run from this individual. It does have a plum draw like you mentioned. And possibly in this race, because it's so tricky and so open, maybe the quartets and swingers are the right way to go. And if um, number six, Anna Noba, runs, uh, MJ said that this is quite a smart filly. Throw it into the back end of quartets, trading at around about 10 to 1. And mythical tune, a little bit not, not so easy to assess. She has disappointed on a few occasions, but she has run well on a few occasions too. Yeah, she certainly has. Last time out, I just think a very, very disappointing effort. Well beaten behind Columbia Road and she found absolutely nothing when put under pressure. Just one more horse before we uh, close off with race number one. Horse number nine, Lover Loose. Now, she's an individual that has had three starts to date over the 1,000 meter trip and two runs over 1,200. And she's improved lengthwise in her starts. She steps up to 19.50 now, so it's a huge step up in trip. But watch for big improvement from this three-year-old daughter of Time Thief. I think that the triple suits her nicely. She's going to be running on firm ground at Hollywood Best Scottsville come Sunday, which I think will suit her nicely. And I think she could be a nice lurker to include into the mix at around 12 to 1 in the market. But race number one, horses two and three, they do seem to set the standard. And then uh, horse number nine, Lava Luce, is pro possibly a nice lurker to throw into the mix. good fun days like these are, are great you get the whole industry together um, and to have you know companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into into making a day like this possible is uh, it's it's fantastic for everyone mm -hmm.